Cool. Cool. Yeah. So before the team implant an RFID tag into an unlucky volunteer and scan them with an MRI to see if the implant explodes, let's find out more about this new and booming technology from expert Ron Godovic. Radio frequency ID is a technology that uses a reader that sends out a signal to a tag and that tag actually reacts to that reader and sends back information about whatever the tag is on. So an object or Mythbuster that you want to identify is stuck with an RFID tag, which contains a microchip and antenna. Then using radio waves, a reader can remotely detect and retrieve the information on the chip. People are having these implanted in them? Well, there has been several case studies now where there's a few hundred people out there who have had RFIDs implanted in them that will allow medical professionals to read information on their health. Q. Tori Balachi, MD. Can you prepare the patient? And his able assistant, Nurse Imahara. Marking pen. Marking pen. Iodine swab. Iodine swab. Syringe. Syringe. The RFID tag to be inserted in Porky the unfortunate pig. So now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the chip. Comes from VeriChip, a company on the cutting edge of these human implants. Searching for chip. And we got it. Hey, we found it. You know, this is my first surgery ever, and I feel like it went pretty well. I didn't even go to med school either. All we have to do now is take it to the MRI and see if this thing explodes or gets ripped out of the skin. Carrie, having recently injured her knee, which required an MRI scan, has found the perfect location for this test, 3T MRI, where Dr. Priest is allowing the team access to a state-of-the-art MRI scanner. And with Porky the Pig in position, this is the moment of truth. See that black spot in the middle? That's the, That's chip. the, That's chip. the chip. Will the RFID tag explode or be ripped out by the MRI's massive magnet? Or will it be the myth that's busted? So Porky's been in there for about 10 minutes. I haven't seen any movement, and there definitely wasn't an explosion. With no sign of the ham going blam, the conclusion is obvious. I can see how someone would think that if you have this RFID chip and you subject it to a strong electromagnetic field where it says no loose metal objects, that someone would think maybe it would explode. It's a glass capsule the size of a grain of rice and it does contain metal. We've done the test. No explosion and no ripping out. Hey! And it works. Found it. All right. Didn't damage it. The chip cool. came through unscathed, but the guys aren't ready to call it just yet. In order to test this right, we need to put it in a real person to see if there's any movement, if the person feels any movement or they feel any heat. Yeah, got any, a point. Any takers? Dr. Belechi and Nurse Imahara chickened out, okay. so it's all down to Carrie. After the anesthetic is administered, Dr. Priest inserts the RFID tag. With this implant, medical personnel will be able to remotely access Carrie's healthcare history. I feel so sci-fi. But will that history include an arm lost in a science experiment? Two days later, Carrie's arm is healed. All right, blow me up, Doc. And back at 3T MRI, Tori is predicting he'll soon have a one-armed colleague. So we're back, we have Carrie's chip implanted, now we're gonna stick her in the MRI and we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Uh, my feeling is it's probably gonna explode and she's gonna lose her arm. I can't wait to see that. Despite Tori's concerns, Carrie is soon prepped and ready. Bye, Carrie. And with the scan underway, Grant gets on the intercom to see how it's going. Do you feel anything in your arm? I'm trying to concentrate on that, I don't feel any movement. And that's the nail in the coffin of this myth. Carrie emerges with two arms and the chip's still in place and in working order. All right, sci-fi girl, how do you feel about this myth? <laughs> I think it's busted. I agree it's busted. An MRI is not going to cause your RFID implant to explode. Mind you, we did use RFIDs that were made for human implantation. If you were crazy enough to cut the one out of your credit card and possibly implant it, maybe it would work then. You know what, though? There's a lot of conspiracy theories around these RFIDs. Like, can you steal someone's credit card information? Can you track people? I mean, we should test these, too. Look, I think we're already on enough government watch lists. Let's just let this one go. I think I agree.